How's it going, sisters, mates? This is Miss Charles. We're back with Clanad. It's a bit quiet here. There's no music. I'm not muting the game or anything. This literally started the day on this. Now, oh, the curtains are being thrown open. I think my dad might be in. Either that or maybe Tomoyo is going to come in. I hope it's Tomoyo, but I've got a feeling dad's going to make a nightmare of this. But still, I don't even know why my dad's such a bad person in this game. But anyway, previously, we had a nice talk with Tommy about being friends and stuff. And we can, you know, continue to see each other and shit. I guess she's part of the fold now, which is good. Until, you know, her playthrough's done and we ignore her for the rest of our lives. But now, well, I don't know. We're just going to see where that fold takes us, I guess. But first things first, who is it that's, that's throwing the curtains open? Oh, Tommy, it's morning. You'll be late. Oh, God. Well, it's definitely her. I can tell by her horrible theme tune. Alright, you'll be late, so wake up! As the light pierces my eyelids sharply, I hear a woman's voice. A woman's voice? This is something that's never happened before, so I jump up from my bed, surprised. Yet, yeah, why am I not surprised she knows my address? How does she figure this shit out? Like, she always knows where we are. We could fucking end up going to Africa or something, she'd probably still hunt us down. You're awake! You're actually surprisingly good at waking up. Although, it looks like your sleeping posture is quite bad. Your hair's all messed up from rolling around. Probably because I have such terrible nightmares about fucking sheep eating everything. She breathes a warm sigh on her hand and brushes my hair with it. I mean, wouldn't you need like a liquid? Maybe you want to take it to a sink or something? I don't think warm air does that, does it? It must be a master technique I've never heard of. This is some impressive bedhead. It doesn't look like it'll get better unless you wet it first. Actually, Tomoyo, why are you here? Don't you see I came to wake you up? Didn't you say you're not a morning person? And so that's why you keep coming late to school? That's really no good, you know. Oh god, she's actually gonna make us a star pupil. Why you? Mm, what? Weren't you going to let me do whatever I wanted until you joined the student council? Of course I'm letting you do what you want. But I figured this would be for your own good. <laughs> Great, well I really like someone like this. I mean, it's not that you come late because you want to be late, right? <laughs> you clearly do not know these delinquents at all. Well, sure, but I prefer to sleep. You can't, Tomoya. If you wake up now, then today you can go to bed earlier. Doing that, you'll be able to wake up earlier tomorrow. So this girl clearly doesn't like staying up. She's clearly more a morning person herself. Forcing me to kind of degrade myself to go to bed earlier. So if you manage to hold out today, you won't be late anymore. So do your best. Nope, I can't hold out, so I'm just going to be late. Good. With that said, I lie down again. Maybe you should, you know, pour some water on his head. He needs it anyway. Didn't I say that you can't? Shut up. Tomoya, didn't you say you'd spend your days with me? Is this a relationship I'm or not? I'm actually not sure. I mean, it's cute and I would love it, but I don't know. I feel like Tommy might be thinking he is and Tommy doesn't think much of it. So can't we walk to school together? I didn't say I'd go that far. What I meant was that I'd at least talk to you at school. Is that so? In that case, it can't be helped. Guess I'll wrap you up and carry you there myself! <laughs> wow, bad and all! Just what kind of girl are you? I instinctively jump up to my feet. I'm serious, you know. Yeah, I bet you are. We both glare at each other. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, why can't for, for a car be like this? This is fun, this is exciting. If this was at the beginning of Clamad, I would have absolutely loved this game. Oh, and now I don't want, well, I, I like the idea of the next girl because I'm looking forward to her, but well, I hear after stories when everyone's an adult and fucking Tommy is with Furukawa. I don't want to see that. I know I'm not going to look forward to the ending. You know, I bet you'll become an excellent student council member. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably get shit done. Oh, wow, there's people. I'm not used to that. But say, I just can't think of you as a bad guy. Are all the rumors really true? Didn't I tell you? They're generally true. Although some of them may have been a bit exaggerated. So just a single night, you once forced the whole school to close down. What did you do? Bring in some toxic waste? Not the sweet kind? That's incredibly exaggerated. I figured as much. There's no way you could be that amazing. Yeah, at most they only temporarily disbanded their class. <laughs> so they did, you just want to like rephrase it. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Did you just increase your distance from me a little? That's just your imagination. But you're obviously keeping your distance from me right now. 
Ah, I see. It's because of what I said about classes being disbanded because of me, isn't it? It's not like that's something. It's not like that was something I did every day or anything. It's something that luckily, or rather unluckily, only happened once by pure chance. But I actually don't want to even talk about my old days. So it'd be a huge bother to have to explain it like this every time I meet someone. That's why I say they're genuinely true. And finish the conversation right then and there. When people continue to misunderstand you if you do that, the stories will only ever be about the old me. Yeah, I mean, I, you are definitely changing. Yeah, well, to be fair, I haven't seen her beat up Sunahara for a while. But she doesn't seem to be against the idea, so you know. Even if they do misunderstand me now, I'm going to redeem myself. I have confidence in that. Although, if the entire school found out about my past, I'll probably lose any chance of redeeming myself. That's why I'm hiding it right now. That's so. I get it now. Then come closer already. It's hard talking like this. Okay. I start walking next to Tomoyo again. But why were you so wild back then? I didn't really have a reason for being wild. But I do have a reason for not being wild. Anyone going through puberty will go wild if they don't have a reason not to. Is that double negative there? I don't know what she was saying, to be honest. That's what I think. Am I wrong? This is the first time I've heard about this, but I do feel like there's some truth to it. Right? And thus, because I was just a little strong, I just ended up standing out. You stood out a lot, everywhere. People are passing down stories about you like you're some kind of city legend. That's just a pretty depressing situation for me to be in. But like I said before, I'll redeem myself. She faces me with bright eyes. If you look at her like this, she's just a normal girl. I mean, she seems like a, a quite an exciting, fun girl, to be honest, you know? Uh, normal is just a bit degrading for her. But I also think of how she used to be and how all the people who know her are afraid of her. Maybe she brought a pistol to school, who knows? And now she's trying to walk far away from that part of herself. Facing forward. <laughs> Bet you're not used to that. Even though we had been raised in roughly the same situation, our ways of life were completely different. Just as we promised, these coming few days would probably be the only time we would be together. Oh joy, is that, is that when the May period starts and then, you know, I don't get to see her ever because she's too busy for me. The fact that we spent time together will soon become something awkward and turn into just another funny story. <laughs> funny joke. That's how miraculous our current relationship is. It really is just laughable. And of course, it's laughable. The places we're aiming for in life are completely different. What, does she want to be like a lawyer or something when she grows up? I don't even know what her future career is going to be. So what's your reason for not being wild then? Mm, you want to know? Yeah, I'd like to know. It's a secret. Uh, well, I guess I can't fucking know because someone doesn't trust me. What, aren't you being self-important? What's wrong with that? Don't you think it's more feminine to hold at least some secrets? I, I wouldn't say secret holding is, is a feminine trait. I mean, I know a lot of men that keep secrets, like, you know, if one sleeps behind the wife's back. <laughs> I'm not saying I do that. I just know people that have done that. I love Katie too. No, don't think that I do that. I love Katie. She's my girlfriend and there's no one in the world I want more than her. Even sexually. Even if it was a millionaire. You sure like fussing about how things are feminine, don't you? Of course. I'm a girl after all. That's a feminine thing, I suppose. I think she's plenty ladylike. But somehow her emphasis on girl gives me a strange feeling of discomfort. No, actually, I only realised it just now, but I'm actually the senior here, you know? Well, I guess, but she certainly acts like the older one. Of course, it's obvious. Did you only realize this just now? Are you stupid? And I also... Why do we always go for the young ones? Furukawa's a young one as well. Well, I suppose they're the only girls we've really... There's Miyazawa, but I don't know what year she's in. Well, if we like him young, I'm going to probably vomit a bit, but you know. And I also realize just now that it's exactly because of you talk... Because you talk like that, that I don't feel like I'm your senior. What? You're not satisfied with that? I see. You want to be treated like a senior, Tomoya? No, it's not that I want to be treated like a senior. But rather, I feel girls who act like they are my junior have a certain charm. Isn't that the same thing? What? If you wanted that, you should have said so sooner. Alright. From here on out, I'll treat you as a senior. Be grateful. She had, yeah, but she's trying to wake me up. Is she going to stop doing that now? Is she going to think that I'm actually doing this logically? I'm doing this to help myself? Probably not. She hasn't changed how she treats me one bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're my senior, does that mean I have to call you Okazaki-senpai? Oh, dear. And I have to talk to you politely, too? 
Forget it. That's it's too much trouble. <laughs> and she queues up after five seconds. That didn't last long. But is that really the kind of girl you're charmed by, Tomoya? If I think about it, that's exactly the opposite of me. That's quite right. What, are you being sarcastic? You're being sarcastic, aren't you? I feel an affection for girls that make me want to protect them. Isn't that just natural? That's why men were born strong and women were born weak. Well, yeah, just be all sexist, why not? Is that so? But you know, Tomoya, even if I am weak, or even I am weak, getting told something like that hurts me. Without thinking, I burst into... Wow, that's a bit mean. Someone's going to get a punch to the face. Or maybe a kick combo. It was just funny seeing Tomoyo desperately appeal to her femininity. What? Why are you laughing? Did I say something funny? No, not really. Just that although a lot of guys do think like that. I only feel that way occasionally. Occasionally? Meaning unusual, unusually you feel differently about this? Yeah. I see. That's interesting. So what kind of girl are you really charmed by, Tomoyo? She comes up close to me when she asks this. She definitely wants me, and I want her, but this is Tomoya's choice. I'll be sure to keep it a secret. She smells surprisingly feminine. What did you do? Did you some perfume? Some skunk? Sharing secrets, huh? Why, that's sure feminine of you. Right? However, I'm a man, and men have to stay silent. Idiot. If you're a man, you should just give away everything without constraint, like men always do. Fucking men, they never know how to do anything right. So, <laughs> someone who says just about anything without constraint would just be a pervert. Really? Now come on, make some distance or strange rumours will start sprouting up again. I say this, noticing the amount of students increasing in my field of vision. Oh, but she like him. No! Mate, let everyone call her a slut and me a slut. I don't care, it's nice. It's cute. But I'm fucking full colour. Even though I've been telling you I don't really care. She backs away after expressing her complaint. No! No! Oh, not the depressing music. I was enjoying the dating life. Then she stops and looks up. What's wrong? No, nothing. She says, glancing back at me, clearly wanting my boner. Uh, I'm not saying I have one, but if I did, if, if, if Tomoya did, let's not talk about willies right now, I'm too annoyed. <laughs> what Tomoya is looking at is the Sakura tree. You were staring up like that a while ago, weren't you? Do you like Sakura that much? I guess so. But I've actually grown to like them. Before all this, I didn't like them at all, though. Well, it's fine and all if you like them, but we'll be late if you keep standing here. Yeah, sorry for stopping like that, let's go. We start climbing the hill. Alright, nice little school. Maybe we'll learn something. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Do you think it'll be lonely, Tomoya? Lonely? What? When the cherry blossom trees standing here get cut down. Yeah, they're being cut down. Are you really a student from this school? Just occasionally. <laughs> yeah, I don't, come in, I don't come in enough to be considered a student. How does a student who only transferred here this spring know more about this than you? I'm pretty estranged from these kind of things. So it seems. But it's true, that's what's been decided. Really? That's why I asked if you thought it'd be lonely. Well, if something goes away that's been here the whole time, I probably would. You think so too? I'm sure every student in this school would agree too. Why are they getting rid of them? That sounds like a bad we're gonna replace them with. Or it's just like, mate, we need some funding for our new school books. They'll just get wrecked again, cause students are just fucking shit at keeping good, like books in good order. Well, I don't know about that. So, you know, I used to always <laughs> piss on them while laughing, you know. Is that why we're getting rid of them? Because there's too much smelling of pee, like, in the school. That guy! She stags it as though she's dizzy. Well, I wouldn't blame that. It's quite sickening. Come on, we'll be late if we don't hurry. Uh, okay. We mix in the other students and move through the entrance. Well, uh, don't be careful. Rumors don't go around about you guys boning each other. Parting with Tomio as I'm heading toward the classroom... Oh, that's a new scene. I've never seen the back of someone's head like that. It's just kind of realistic. Huh. That's cool. A small girl is leaning against the door of the next classroom. Hmm? That, that back? I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, it's Fuko. This floor only has third year classrooms. Yeah, but Fuko decided to visit you. So maybe she's looking for someone? Maybe she's looking for me? No, we're not that close. Yeah, you are. You just don't realize it, you sad prick. In the first place, her impression of me can be summed up with that catchphrase of hers. The worst 
Not as much, not, not much to think about. I'll just ignore her and enter the classroom. Oh, and she found us. Ah, the weird person has come. And I think we'll say whatever happens because of this meeting in the next episode. Who knows what she's here for? Maybe she wants to give us a cube or other stolen property. Maybe she wants to ask what happened to the star we threw away. I bet it's that. And I'm sure not going to like that. I suppose we could just lie to her though and say you know, we brought it home. Because we've had a chance to rest up and stuff. Although, maybe that's something that um, we'll have to discuss next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself and you want to see what happens when you talk to this girl who's probably going to be very depressed in a few moments, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, the Blitzcrow chance this time. See ya!